right now. It's close. stuff up here. There seems to be some big fish. Can't tell what yet. And there's no, there's not a single no fishing sign. There is a no swimming sign and a no skating sign. And all of the children must be accompanied by an adult. But that's it. Other than that, there's the road, which is kind of loud, but other than that, this seems like a good spot. Let's get to it. Yeah. For all I know about this spot, it could just be like a little bluegill pond. But, you won't know until you know. That may not know. I just re-spooled up my line with line spelled L Y N fishing line, and that was the first cast that I've made with this so far, and that was a very very smooth cast. Bulls, I should get rid of my weed ability. And there's a froggy over there. Yeah. It's the only thing that I've ever caught on any Guggen baits so far. It is a frog. What is going on here? Oh. from up here I can't really tell what those are but there's some swirls out there so far I can't really tell if they're bluegill or if they're just like itty bitty minnows I mean for all I know there could be nothing in this one but Never hurts to figure or try. Never hurts to try and just keep, keep on keeping on. You know what I'm keeping? Mm -hmm. Nothing, because conservation, that's why. Okay, yeah, they're like super itty bitty minnows. Took my sunglasses off finally. All right, so yesterday, ooh. Yesterday was a 10 on the epic scale for the bass forecast, and today is a 9.1. Still epic. So, I just gotta find a spot where there's actually fish. Okay, it's a little deeper. Looks like it drops off. Oh, there's some bass in here. I see two of them right there. Two of them normally means that they're probably maybe bedded up. Oh, there's a bunch of them. It's a little school. Oh, I missed him. I got a bite. Okay. That was not just two of them.
Oh, man, I have the wrong hook on this. Gosh dang it. I have one of those itty bitty worm hooks. And they're just playing with the tail on this thing. But it's good to know there's bass in here. And they are either hungry or territorial. Swimming around in wolf packs. More than just the old little worm here. Yeah, that hook is way too small. They can eat that tail and just call it good. I need something smaller with a little bit of a stronger hook. Something that they can just clobber. Apparently I can't keep my hands steady. Oh, that coffee. Can't get enough of that coffee. Nothing else, but I'm gonna go with the Bass Pearl Shops little pitcher doodad here. I think, I think it's called the Mud Bug. Is that correct? Uh, river bug. River bug. I was close. But obviously that smaller profile may need something that's got more action to because they went after that tail. They went after the tail on the uh, the old ribbon tail and bit that, but there was no swallowing of any sort. That's what she said. Sorry, sorry. Been watching The Office way too much. Those of you who do not like The Office, you are wrong. So there. All right. Little river bug action here. Can't exactly sight fish them right now because the sun's getting a little bit higher. So it's just a little bit harder to see them. Traveling around in that wolf pack still. Then a moving bait should do the trick. Oh, oh Adam. Oh, okay. Let's see how it is there, Mr. Bassy Bass. I'm gonna get you. Boy, I'm gonna get you. Man, he just like clobbered it the second I let it drop. So, the hook didn't come through on that. So, he was just hanging on for dear life and just let it go. So, what I'm gonna do to increase the probability of hookups is just poke that little hook right through. Just the teensiest little bit. And the cool thing about the river bug is it's got all these ridges, so you can actually hide the hook head. See the hook right there? You can hide it within those ridges. So there it's still through right now. And the more probability of a hookup is now possible because of that. Oh, he picked it up. Man, this line, fishing line, this fishing line, 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 fishing line, L-Y-N, fishing line. Man, it's hard to say. Is the bee's knees. For real, though. Like, I can feel every single thing. 
this is a company that like if if they ever want to sponsor me just know i'm all about it man this fluorocarbon that i'm that i got tied on right now is excellent oh man just getting smooth i think we found a winner ladies and gents just gotta make sure that we get our hook set oops what is that Oh, it's a bluegill. No way, dude. Look at the size of that bluegill. Oh my gosh. Do you see that? <laughs> Look at how big that dude is. That is amazing. You are a greedy SOB. Greedy son of a bluegill. Look at the mouth on that guy. Sheesh. But that hook set got him on the top of the mouth. Look at that bluegill. He's a beaut. Boy, what a beauty. Oh, oh there he goes. I will name you Carl. It's a, probably the first fish I've named ever because. Naming fish? Really? You know he goes down there and he sees Felicia and he's all like, Yo, what up, baby? Probably sees all those bass and like, What's up? Yeah, I got caught. Yeah, I got this piercing now. Get at me, bruh. Am I wrong? I don't believe so. There's one thing else that I've noticed about this fishing line is it's a fluorocarbon and I have yet to see a fray I mean I haven't used it for that long it's only been a couple hours but man the last fluorocarbon that I had I believe it was not even gonna tell you what kind it was because it doesn't matter but there was frays like crazy like crazy crazy frays all the time I actually have some on one of my poles right now, but I could show you guys like nine feet into it is a huge fray. Like it just wove. Oh, that's a bass. Oh my gosh, it might be a giant. Maybe it's fighting like crazy. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Don't, 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 don't. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh my goodness. What in the world? That is nuts. You guys. Oh my god. Oh, I'm coming here more often. Dang. Look at that fish. Look at that beautiful fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What in the world? <laughs> yes, sir. Goodness. That's, that's the biggest fish that I've caught in a really long time. It's got that bloody tail there. Definitely spawning. Oh, tis the season and it is glorious. <laughs> Look at that fish. That is so exciting. Oh man. Goodness gracious. Okay. Recap. River bug. I poked that little hook through on the ridge. I hooked into two fish. Finding those little tweaks to make sure that your hook sets are coming up, coming through that plastic. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to get through it. But finding those little tweaks to make sure that you're gonna hook up every time every bite is key so find those little tweaks that you can make oh I'm stoked on that that thing was big too it was a solid two pounder
or a bait keeper. That thing is keeping this thing solid. Healthy. Switched it up to this guy. Let's see what I think might be a bed. Well, I could only come out for a little bit this morning, but I would say that was a pretty successful day. Just met a guy who says he's he comes here all the time and gave me a hot tip on a new spur, hot tip on a spot that I have not heard of yet. So uh, it'll be good to try something new again. We'll see how it goes. But uh, later discovered that all these bass are spawning currently. So the spawn is on for all my Missourians. Northern-ish Missouri and St. Louis area people. Uh, the Texas rig. Texas rig with the uh, river bug. That was the three inch, I believe, river bug. Super small presentation. They're not looking for something that's big, bulky, long by any stretch. They're just looking for that quick snack, quick little bite. So. To all of you out there preparing, tis the season to be fishing. Fa la 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 la. I need to get me some more Ned rigs set up here so that I can use those rage bugs. Ned rig style. They're super cool, super teeny. Little rage Ned rig baits. It's got four appendages on them, which move and kick while they're going down, as well as a few other things. It's pretty neat, but I gotta go home, catch up with the wife, and eat some food. All right, be good. We'll see you guys soon. I uh, look forward to getting out during a lot during this time, especially since they are spawning currently. So morning fishing outings, here we go.